Hello, good morning everyone. I am, good morning. I am just checking out to make sure that we give everyone a little bit of time to get on to this awesome video about self-love and loving ourselves through it all. My name is Erica. I am an emotion code practitioner. I also am an intuitive. I have been practicing for over five years now. This year was my first year that I decided I am going to love myself so much that I am going to share my talent and my gift with the world. And it has been a very beautiful experience to learn how to grow and really care about how I am feeling during this difficult time, building a business, being a mom, being a wife, there's so much involved. And today I really want to share about how to love yourself through it all. So many times as caregivers, as healers, as parents, as even just single parent, single people, we forget to really love ourselves, incorporate how can we care about ourselves over everything there's been times where i have a really really rough time and it's really fun to see how i can actually stop in the moment of overwhelm of frustration of anger of even guilt and say it's okay calm down it's all going to be okay one of the number one things that i have learned out of everything is now at this point in time i actually schedule time to have a, my my own time my own day and i know that with hectic work and life it can be very very hard to schedule time but at this point in time i understood oh my god if i don't schedule time for myself then i will not have it and we make time for what is important to us. So why wouldn't we make time for ourselves? Who is the most important person to carry us through each day but ourselves? I figured this out and I started to do a scheduled time and day every month, whether it be hanging out with friends, whether it be the hot springs, I've actually been really going there a lot lately because it is so beautiful to just hang out and relax and decompress. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. I'm really glad to see a male here. Thank you. <laughs> but scheduling time out of your day and creating those bonds with yourself getting to really know what it is that you need and what you want out of your connections and reevaluating, reevaluating, giving yourself time to reflect. So number one, scheduling time to pamper yourself, love yourself, be with yourself. I, it could look like having a bath at home. I actually own singing bowls so once a month every single month in my office in this space right here i actually set up my singing bowls and i just play for myself i literally put a block on and it's scheduled time that says singing bowl for myself and i gift myself that time because who else is going to we can overrun ourselves with the needs and the wants of everyone else but sometimes we don't really think about ourselves. So number one, pampering yourself. Please make sure to take time, whether it be a face mask from the dollar store, whether it be painting your nails at home, these things do not have to cost money. And that's one of the things that I've really been drilling into my clients. When they come into the office and they're like, how do you love yourself? What does that even mean? And it is really, how would you take care of someone else? Translate that to yourself. My kids, I brush their hair because you've got crazy curly hair, right? So when I'm brushing their hair, that is me taking care of them. When I'm cooking dinner, that is me taking care of them. And all of those different things translate into 
okay, how can I take care of myself in this way? There's also times where I will take over an hour and a half to get ready. And I know it sounds funny, but me as a mom, I am running and going all day long. I literally, there's no stopping. And once a month, I, I do do a couple of scheduled days where I'm just going to take my time to do my hair today. I'm going to take my time to do my makeup. I'm actually going to just be. Usually it's 15 minutes flat. I'm ready. Hair's done. Don't really put on makeup usually, but I'm just out of the door and done by 15 minutes flat. What about those days where I just kind of want to hang out and be scrubby or really prim and be pampered? So I pamper myself. I actually sit there and I look at my face and I take care of it and I just breathe. So again, pampering. I cannot emphasize that one enough. Next, really connecting to the way that you are feeling. And I know that we all kind of get into that slump of like days go by and we're just going day by day and they all just can sometimes become a blur. What I have been doing for a while now is at the end of the day, whether it be after the kids have gone to bed or whether it be when I am just sitting alone in the house, which is very rare, but it happens, I take time and I recognize some of the emotions that I am feeling during the day. And I'm gonna actually, as an emotion code practitioner, I know that not everyone has these in, on hand, but I go through and I actually look at what emotions I've felt during the week. That way, I can actually really form more connection to myself, deeply understand what I've been going through. This last couple of weeks, my kids started new sports, and my daughter has been in swimming lessons for, for the past few months. There was a lot of sense of overwhelm, like, oh my gosh, I have to get dinner done, I have to do this, we have to be here, we have to be there, and then... I also like to hold a goal of what time we eat by. So there's been a lot of days where I haven't been able to make that goal. And instead of saying, oh my God, what's wrong with me? I say, I'm just feeling really overwhelmed right now. Time is very limited and it's just me. My husband is there, but he's helping take kids other places as well. But I am sometimes my own worst critic. So when I can be into judgmental mode of myself, I sit and I say, oh, I was really judging myself hard today. There's days where I don't feel like I'm as valuable as I hope that I am. And there's been times where I sit there and I say, oh my gosh, I'm feeling really worthless right now. I am just feeling so down on myself. What can I do to validate what I've done? So during those days where there's overwhelm or even when I'm cooking and my kids are like, oh, this is horrible. Why do we have to eat healthy? I don't like that. That's my effort is being unreceived by my family. So I step back and I think, okay, they may not like it, but did I? Because seeking validation from others is a really slippery slope, folks. It really is. Because when we are looking for someone else to tell us we're doing a good job, my good job is different than another person's. That is a really, really tough pill to swallow for a lot of us because we just want everyone to like us, or sometimes. But understanding what you're feeling in that moment or as you are developing your emotional intelligence Stopping at the end of the day, before you spiral out of control and just say, oh my gosh, I'm just a terrible person, I'm all of these things, stop and really connect to what you're feeling today. So this morning, um, my son left his backpack in my car, 
and I do Toastmasters. So from 7.30 to 8.30 in the morning, that is my self-development time where I am giving speeches, I am talking to other people, I'm presenting. And I looked at my phone and the urge of frustration. I just got so frustrated in that moment. Like, I always remind you guys not to leave things in my car. I was irritated, I was frustrated. I was a little angry too because it is cutting into the time that I had to be able to prepare for certain things that I needed to do before clients came in. The realization recognition also gives me the ability to be graceful with myself. Were any of these things in my control at this moment in time? Mm, unfortunately, no. None of the my son forgetting his backpack, I told him yes, which causes frustration. But a lot of us can be angry with ourselves and say, oh my God, you're so dumb. Why didn't you say that? Would Just stop and think, what is it that I'm feeling right now? And again, I'm just going to show you this one more time. Because this is only 60 out of over 120 emotions that we can feel. At this time, I'm listening uh, the Atlas of the Heart by Brene Brown. I am a huge proponent of understanding our emotions, feeling our emotions, and really getting connected to them. So with that, I start to understand, okay, my frustration, my irritation. Last night, the goal for dinner before six was out of the water. I'm just totally not there. No pun intended, because I was at swimming lessons with my daughter. But we were at swimming lessons, and by the time I got home, I realized the chicken had not defrosted. Luckily, we had a backup. Those kinds of situations can really cause frustration, irritation, anger. Like, oh, I shouldn't have forgotten to take the meat out. But if we figure out in that moment what is causing that overwhelm, then it is less likely that we're gonna be reactive, not only to others, but to ourselves as well. Because usually we are a lot meaner to ourselves than we are to others. Which leads me to my next and final tip. Words, kind and loving words to ourselves as well as others. I see it time and time again. People are so sweet out there and they can be so kind, so generous, so giving. I mean, I know for me, for a long time, I would show so much gratitude to others. To anyone that is around, thank you so much. I really appreciate your effort. Even if the effort wasn't fully there and they didn't complete it the way that I wish they would or that little controlling part of me steps in, I would say thank you so much. You don't even know how much I helped you. You helped me right now. But if it was coming to me and the project did not get completed on time or I was running a little bit behind or I didn't finish it the way that I really, really wanted to convey, it was full on explosive mode to on myself. It was, oh my God, you're so dumb. You're so this, you're so that. What are your, your so words? What are those little voices in your head saying to you? Because you can either be, I am so dumb, or this was a hard deadline to follow. There was a lot of other factors in my life that did not allow me to get to that deadline. What are some of your I am so's? Think about that. It took me a while to understand what exactly it was that was playing in my head, that little tape recorder that says these little things that you've probably recorded as a child, but they're still playing today. When I've done YouTube videos, and you'll see in the description as well, 
uh, I will be giving out a free session. Go like and subscribe, comment, and let me know what you learned from that YouTube video. And I will be randomly picking someone that comments on here a, um, a session. And I'll contact you through Messenger. But there are a lot of different things and times where those little recorders in our head are really being critical of ourselves judgmental, even cruel. And as I've grown and learned, I started to recognize the little recordings that were playing in my head of whatever the case may be. Uh, at this point in time, I really don't even like to think about those um, words like hate. I don't like to say them out loud because you can feel the frequency and the vibration in your body shifting to those words. So those different words will affect you. I've seen people say, I am so dumb. And I, I have clients that we've had to actually instill new belief systems. We clear a belief system and then we find out what the reason is that this person is feeling this way. So if you can, and I'll just keep saying I'm so dumb because that's like the most simple one, but if you continuously say I'm so dumb or I'm so stupid, then what is your message to yourself as a person? Is that loving? One of the other ways that I've always been able to catch myself is, is this loving towards myself? Am I saying something that is positive to myself or am I breaking myself down right now? because it can go either way. We can either build ourselves up or we can break ourselves down with the words that we put out there into the universe, into ourselves. So start finding different recordings. One of the things that I started doing when I started doing Toastmasters, it's a public speaking format where I would stand up in front of a room full of peers, about 15 to 20 people, and I would have to come things off the hook or I had to prepare a speech to speak to them, kind of like what we're doing here today. While I would be up there, I'd be so nervous and I would be, I would be visibly shaking. And as I continue to work on my loving myself and my positive affirmations, my positive internal voice, I started seeing different ways. I am brave. I would say that for one week straight, I am brave. I can do hard things was another thing. I can do hard things. I mean, I had three children. Granted, they were C-sections, but I think that that's painful too. And working as a single mom, that was all hard things to do. I can do hard things. I'm still here and I'm still able to convey an important and positive message. So I can do hard things. All of those positive little tidbits will help you build your confidence. Although sometimes we think, you know, fake it till we make it. How about picking what it is that you want more of in your life and focusing on that? You want to be more confident? I can be confident in this situation. You see that you've made mistakes? I made a mistake, but I'm progressing for, from it. Or you can also even think of it as this wasn't a mistake, this was a learning in progress. I am progressing towards my goals. Take some time to really reevaluate what you're saying to yourself because the what you're saying to yourself will show you how much you love who you are or it will really break it down. I hope that these tips and tricks are really helpful for you. Make sure that you comment down below and go and check out my YouTube video and let me know something that you found either in this video or that YouTube video. And I will be picking a winner for a free energy healing session. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining us today. Have a good one.